Hey everybody, it's Al with Bobcat. So today I wanted to talk about how you can convert your wireframe uh, into solid models and some of the workflow you can follow uh, to help aid in that process. So uh, in this file here, you can see I have a couple of uh, uh, sketches already laid out on different layers. So we're going to get right into it. We're going to take this first profile here and we're going to do an extrusion. So let me just change the color that I'm drawing with and we'll do surface extrude curve and then we'll select our profile. So that's a shift left click. Um, the other thing we can do is we can say pick by color and we can grab that color and that will make it a uh, quick selection of the profile. Once we have it highlighted red, we can hit our space bar to lock in the selection. Uh, from here we get a preview. So what we want to do is make sure it's going in the right direction. This is going to be minus 1.5750. Uh, once we have that done, we'll choose OK and that gives us our first shape. Uh, then we'll go ahead and pick up the next layer, which is this one here. And uh, we're gonna extrude this one down. So we're gonna do surface extrude curve. We're gonna say minus two, uh, shift click spacebar. And you can see that one extends past the first one and we'll choose okay. All right, then we're gonna go into, uh, while we have these holes that are cut out on one side, and then we have this other notch that's cut out on the other side. So uh, before we get to those two, let's just uh, uh, cut these two bodies away from each other. So we're gonna do solid, subtract, keep the, sh uh, click on the shape we wanna keep first, uh, then click on the, uh, let me do that again, solid, subtract, click on this, the shape that you wanna keep, and then click on the shape that you wanna cut with, hit your spacebar and you can see those two are now subtracted away from each other. Okay, so now let's get into profile number three, which should be these holes over here. Now one of the things that you can do is you can hit your S on your keyboard and that will turn your uh, surface shading on and off and that just makes it a little bit easier. When it's on, uh, it's a little more difficult to see those holes. Uh, when it's off, it's much, much easier to see those holes. So from here, we're going to do surface, extrude curve. Um, we're going to select our two holes, again, just holding shift click, selecting them, space bar. And then now we have our preview. Uh, so with our preview, instead of being two inches, we're going to say just one inch here. And you'll see that uh, these shapes now intersect the primary shape. We'll choose OK right click cancel or escape and then we can do solid subtract keep the first shape and then we want to remove this one and we want to remove that one and then now we have um, these two holes generated there okay so the next thing we want to do is uh, pick up on our next layer now with this layer here you know we may want to make uh, I think it's actually orientated like this we may want to make an adjustment to our wireframe. A lot of times you want to make sure the wireframe extends past the edge of the part. So if we turn our so solid layer off and then we try to do a parallel line, we'll do line parallel and we'll give it a distance. You'll see that it's going to go left and right and really what we want it to do is go up and down. So the easy way to adjust this is to uh, pick on a different uh, user coordinate system. This one we can click on our side user coordinate system and then now using the uh, line parallel function you can see how it's now drawing uh, on that plane. We can trim up these edges here and then just delete out this piece of geometry there and then uh, we can go back to our top and turn our solid back on. So now we want to extrude this one. We'll do surface extrude curve, uh, shift click, space bar, make sure that this is going in the right direction. So we'll say minus 0.5 and then that will give us our little window cut out right there. Uh, space bar to lock it in, solid, subtract, keep this shape, subtract that one. Uh, let me do that again. Solid, subtract, keep this shape, subtract that one space bar and there you go so you can see once you have your wireframe laid out you can make some uh, pretty quick work of generating your solid if you guys have any questions com comments uh, feedback uh, please reply back to the Facebook the YouTube or whatever thread this video may be uh, posted in otherwise we'll see you on the next video thank you so much